YouTube. This is File Not Found X404, and I'm going to be showing you how to play games on your computer with the controller. Okay, so let's plug in the controller. It should automatically download and install the necessary drivers. If it doesn't, you're going to need to go to the manufacturer's website and download them yourself. The program we're going to be working with is called XPatter. You can download it from XPatter.com, but it does cost $10. However, you can get the older version 5.3 for free, and I'll provide a link to that in the description. So after you've downloaded it and ran it, it'll ask you where you want to put it. I just put it in my documents and created a shortcut on the desktop. And if you are using Windows Vista or Windows 7, you're going to want to right-click it, go to Properties, Compatibility, and then check the box that says Run Program as Administrator. Also, if you're going to be using the free version, it does not support Windows 7, so you're going to have to run the program in compatibility mode for Windows Vista Service Pack 2. And then click OK. And then you uh, want to open it up. And then you should get a window like this. Um, go ahead and click this, go to New. Um, this is where you can put a picture of your controller to pretty much make things seem a little bit easier where you put the buttons and everything. Um, you can go to xpatter.com slash gcdb um, and list uh, a couple manufacturers over here and click on one to find the model then right click copy image paste it in there it should show up um, this isn't important at all it's pretty much just for looks um, so don't worry about whether you have it or not um, go to sticks Enable, left, up, drag this where you want it, do the same thing for the other stick, left, up, move where you want it, um, then go to D-pad, enable, up, down, left, right, move that where you want to, then go to the buttons and do each individual button where you want it, um, select, start, Also, don't forget about the buttons on the sticks. Because those are buttons too. Um, if your controller has triggers, like an Xbox 360 controller, you're going to want to enable that and then hold down the left trigger and then the right trigger. The controller I'm using doesn't have triggers, so I'm just going to skip that. Click OK. Then you want to click this to save the layout. Um, now, what you can do from here is set up pretty much any button is almost anything on the keyboard or mouse something like mouse movement left right up down scroll forward down left right the middle button click left right click and you can even do combinations of buttons like shift and like three if you wanted to but um, for something like combat arms usually what I would do is have tabs so you can see scores and stuff this, that, um, escape, um, usually have this as left click to aim, so I want to shoot. Um, also what you can do with the sticks and the d-pad is click on this little wrench looking button and set it up to automatically be like wazzed. Um, you can also have it like in a direction to where the each corner is also can be a different key. Um, I just leave it on standard. Um, then the middle will be like shift for sprint. Um, then over here I usually have the mouse. Um, put control for like crouch in there. Um, also, what you really want to do um, is go to mouse settings. And then you also notice there's a left and right and up and down slider which is your X and um, Y axis um, pretty much it's like the speed of the mouse and for combat arms you need to have it up a little bit higher um, and also the you don't want to have the Y value as high as the X because I don't know it just doesn't work <laughs> um, then after you're done setting it up you just want to 
click save and then save it as your profile and, and you can do that. Um, I'm just going to load mine that I already made. And this is what I have for um, combat arms. And this is the control arm using. Under um, the mouse settings, I actually have it as 113 for the X value and 60 for the Y. It, it works out pretty well. Um, for the gun I'm using, I'm using the SCAR. Um, each weapon is actually quite different, and especially different scopes. Like the reflex scope, the ACOG scope are pretty different. Like pretty much a setup for each weapon, and that's what where these come useful. Because you can make up to eight different um, like controller settings for each one. And you can set up two for like a whole different gun or whatever. Um, if you want to set up for different games, I just actually just make like a, uh, just a new controller profile, and like I have different ones for like different games and everything. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much it. You can mess around with like a lot of settings. You can do quite a bit of stuff with it. Um, yeah. And you'll pretty much notice, you know, um, buttons light up green when you move them, and you know it'll work just like moving the mouse normal. And you can, you know, just right click and click, you know, just like you normally would. And um, I'll load up Combat Arms here in a second, and you'll be able to actually see it like in action. Start. It's usually a little bit easier to see. I also do a couple fun things like being able to spin in circles, especially at like, higher sensitivity. <laughs> Probably get two different games for doing that though. <laughs> oh. Usually you can make shots like that and like just cross the map in the head with like a um, Round assault star. rifle. <laughs> Start.